record. We're officially recording. So, for who's here, who isn't here, or whatever in between, welcome. We're starting off with... Actually, I think I did Rank Mob Psycho. Um, since we're... I mean, oh, okay, wait. I did not Rank Mob Psycho Season 1. So, yeah, we're going to start off Mob Psycho. So, Mob Psycho, what's going on? First off, Jay Cates, welcome. If you guys have not followed the stream, definitely be sure to do that. Welcome, uh, Aegon to Gary. 3N, welcome, man. Much appreciated for you guys coming in here and joining. So, we're going to start off with Mob Psycho here. And that 8.5 that you guys see that I will soon highlight right there is definitely really what it kind of deserves, in my opinion. I mean, I think this is a definitely at least a B-plus show. Maybe even touch it to A-, minus. you know? Yeah, I mean, you know what I'm saying, Trance 160? Maybe it is a, a B, or excuse me, A- minus B B-plus show. Actually, I think it is that. So, looking at this, Jimmy Neutron is coming. Did we already watch Shield here on stream? Uh, no, 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 no. Mr. Kid, thanks for following, bro. So, um, this is a show I'm going to be I'm ranking. I've completed the first season. We're on to season two. And I think Mob Psycho is really is a great show. You know, a nine to me is an A. To me personally, though, I think it's an A... Oh, God. I don't even know if I... I don't. It's not an A-plus, per se. It didn't engross me within the series and the narrative that strongly. But it definitely has my attention, especially this first episode of Season 2. I think it's a show that's definitely, like, just... We're going to go A-minus. We're just going to say A-minus, right? Um, I, I don't have any spoilers to give you. Really, just synopsis. So, just in case, since people are new in here, um, if you guys have not seen my list already, I will pull this up just really quick here. So... Um, I have about 30 things on my list, whether I've watched it or not, I do not know, just by looking at all of them, but just scroll through this really quick, just so you guys can see this, so if you want to pause it later on, whenever I actually upload the video, you can actually look at my list, so, also, my list is Hex25, my anime list, so, I'll be back to the main point here. So, Food Wars is something I have not actually seen yet. I want to watch Food Wars. I want to watch Food Wars really bad. Um, so, I'm going to add this to the list. Def definitely going to put a plan to watch. So, I cannot wait to have in the Food Wars, honestly. I just simply cannot wait. Actually, I think I'm pretty sure that I need to put plan to watch for Season 1. But... It's all the same. I don't remember all the same. So, Real Life. I actually did not get all the way through the series. I actually dropped it, but I did not drop it because I disliked this show. Um, Melinda, you missed your favorite song. Melinda, you missed the OP. You missed the opening song I played for Domestic Girlfriend. So, um, hopping on with Real Life. Real Life, I think, is a really good show. And if this actually does have a sequel, it's a four-episode sequel, how many minutes? Oh, each episode is 23? Really? It shows them growing up. So, Real Life is a show to where people actually take this pill to re-experience kind of like their adolescence, their high school life, per se. And, uh, I think that this show is really good. I watched, like, the first two episodes, three episodes, and it had a strong start, man. Very, very, very strong start. But based off what I saw, I'm going to give this... At least a B plus. I thought it was very strong off the first two episodes that I did see. Very impressed with the, what the narrative was doing. So, oh, you did watch? Okay, I understand. So, very good stuff there from that. So, Orange is a show I did not see. I don't even know if I plan on watching it. I really don't. So, if I don't plan on watching it, I just leave it alone. Maybe later on. I watched Ninety One Days. I'm gonna put plan to watch from what I saw. I thought 91 Days was just a B. I didn't see anything special with it. I'm in it through, like, the first two episodes, I think. I actually reviewed, refer, uh, reviewed the first two episodes. So, um, yeah, I cannot wait to watch 91 Days. New Game is a show I've heard about. I don't actually have plans to watch new games. I mean, unless you guys in the chat think I should watch New Game for some reason. I mean, I've heard about it. I know some people like it. It's not necessarily my cup of tea. But just looking at it, but I'm not really sure. I mean, it is the genre of game slash last comedy, so I guess it could be my typical kind of show where I really, really look at the genre. So, um, now this is what the retelling of the ending, right? Of Seven Deadly Sins. And I actually do have a review up on my channel if you guys do want to watch that for Seven Deadly Sins. So, Seven Deadly Sins, where is that prequel at? This show. I enjoyed it a lot. 
there's a lot of shows that could easily see, sneak into my top ten, but I just don't. I just, I just don't know. I forget about them. This is why I'm making a list kind of too and streaming this while I do so. So, um, Seven Deadly Sins, man. You deserve the ranking of... You're good. You're good, Seven Deadly Sins. You're good. You're good. I don't know if you're A-plus material or A-minus, but you're very, very, very good for sure. So, Seven Deadly Sins is a watch. I think that's actually a must. It's a B-plus for me, but it's a must-watch. Uh, 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 uh. Moving on. Don't plan on watching that show. Tales of Zesteria the X. I actually really did enjoy Tales of Zesteria, but I think when I watched Tales of Zesteria, I really got caught up in the narrative and or the art and animation that Ufotable does. Demon Slayer is going to be amazing, by the way, when it comes out. Um, this show, to me, was really... Uh, I enjoyed it, dude. I enjoyed it. But I don't know even know if I thought... I thought it was more of a B. So it's either... It could be a 7 or an A. I thought it was really more of a B. I thought the sequel was a little bit better than the first season, honestly. I mean, I'm pretty sure... Did they... Rose became a main character in the second one, right? That's... A, wait, Rose wasn't even in the first one, actually. Was she? Well, yeah, she was. Because she was, she was a background character, basically. Yeah, I know Rose is in the first season. Season, I don't know why she's not listed. Oh, there, she's a support character. Yeah, so the sequel was far better. Oops, oops, I messed up. I messed up. I messed up. So the sequel is far better than season one. I thought this right here was definitely a a B plus kind of grade. So me personally, my Hero Academia season four only releases in October this season. This October. Do you watch Ranking Academia Season 4? Yes, I will be watching that for sure. Um, if you want to know what I watch, if you go to my YouTube channel, click the bell underneath one. Like, go to one of my video videos, click the bell. You get notified whenever I post a video, and you'll get to see all the reviews I watch. I watch about five to six shows a uh, season, actually. So, I don't plan on watching this. I saw, like, two episodes of this. I dropped this like a hot potato. It was appalling. It was appalling. It was appalling, bro. <laughs> it was bad. I can't believe you have such good content to adapt, but you just fail to do so every time. Berserk, what are you doing? What are you doing? Now, this show was supposed to be like the cutest, had like the cutest female character in it ever. <laughs> I don't know if I put on watching this show. Dongon Ropa. I want to watch that eventually. I do want to watch Dongon Ropa eventually. Let me. I don't know what the first sequel is. There's so many damn sequels, dude. Is this the very first pre... Alright, we're gonna put Plan to Watch for Dongan Ropa. I have not watched this yet. Can't wait to, though. Cannot wait to watch Dongan Ropa, man. So, hopping on to the next thing. Uh, Studio Feel. They did Snafu, actually. They really didn't have a Snafu season 2. Don't know if I plan on... I watched this! Um... Hard X Hybrid, or Maysal got cool in HXH. So, this show is a masterpiece. Okay, I'm just kidding. This show was... Oh, God, bro. I don't even know how to describe this show. I mean... Oh, God. The camera blurred? All right, is it good now? Um, oh, gosh. Oh, gosh, man. This show is about a guy that has to get sexually intimate with women in order to power up. It's, uh, I find it more as a comedy. It's so bad that's good <laughs> for me personally. Uh, I've heard the good things about Sir Vamp. Should I plan to watch or not? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I've heard things, but I don't know if it's, if it's good or not, dude. I don't know. We're just going to leave it like that. Rewrite. I've heard very... Bad things. The Gray Man heard good, but not as much good as like previous seasons, from what I've been told. Um, Fake Khalid. I don't know if I plan on watching Fake Khalid or not. Silverlink did it. I have no idea if I even plan on watching Fake Khalid. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I'm not going to put plan to watch, though. If I don't remember the Fate series and I'm an anime reviewer, then. I got my own personal problems. I don't plan on watching any of these shows that I'm seeing right now. 
uh, Ari ranked these shows. Ari ranked these shows. What are the movies that came out this year? Uh, movies, 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 movies. Where that OVAs? I ain't. I don't need to rank OVAs. I have not watched that. I need to put plan to watch. Plan to watch. Where's the other one at? Silent. Silent voice, right? That's what this one's called. A silent voice. I've heard beautiful things about both of them, man. I really have. So I'm really pumped up whenever I eventually watch that. Let's see here. Let's see it. Let's see. Uh, any movies? Nope. All right. So on to summer of fall 2016. I can't even remember what came out summer fall 2016. Outside of Boom Got Stray Dog Season 2. So <laughs> You're on Ice. I don't know if I plan to watch You're on Ice or not. I love the opening. I love the opening of Yo Yo Nice. All right, put plan to watch Snap Feel. Drifters. Oh, na 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 na. That was the opening for that song. It's actually English. The, the opening was actually English. It was actually English. Yes. So, Drifters is a show I had on hold. I made it through. From what I saw, I thought it was a B show. I think I made it through the first five apps or something. Um, I need to finish that. Definitely need to finish Drifters. Boom Got Stray Dogs. I did rank this already. I, if you have not seen Season 1, go watch it. Make it through it. Get to Season 2. It's that good. The ending of Season 1 is really where it's at. The first three episodes of Boom Got will at least keep you interested. But then there's like four episodes towards it's kind of like whatever. You know, like maybe f episodes like four, five, six, seven. But then it picks up again. And then Season 2 just absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. So, Verde's in here. It's, it's Dad's in here, guys. You haven't watched it. I've not watched it, dude. Uh, Web Weasel. Wow, I made it for the stream. Hey, man, I'm glad you made it. Glad to see you guys here. I watched Drifters. Yes, Verde knows where it's at, man. So, Kaijo. Is Kaijo coming up? Is, what, is that what we're on, guys? Where? Ah, uh, I need to watch this show. I've heard so many things, but that animation just has me feeling some type of way. I don't know, man. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. Uh, uh, uh. It's Zabek. Kaijo. Kaijo. Huh. I completed this. It's a masterpiece, bro. <laughs> um, honestly, I thought Kaijo was, uh, it was, I thought it was a little bit above average. I thought it was kind of fun. I, I don't know. The, the, also, I had a really serious passion about it. Talking about it teaches the stress of sports, which I actually, through the craziness, that was Kaijo. I saw that I was really into sports. I did track for four years. I did baseball for four years. I did uh, basketball for four years. I understand what he's talking about. And I wasn't half out of sports. Like, I can show you guys my award wall, and there's about, I think I, I have a little stairwell that walks up and down from my room, and there's actually about 20 plaques uh, from uh, sports hanging in there. I got a lot of sport awards, bro. So... Other than that, though, Watashi, uh, I've heard about this show. I don't know if I plan on watching Watashi or not, though. I don't know. So, let's see. A Colt 9, don't plan on watching that. Now, is this the witch show? Okay, okay, I will, I want to check this out. I want to I wanna check that one out. I get, what do you guys think about that witch show? Kaijo's S tier. <laughs> Oh, uh, shoot. Let me know you, what you think about the, the last Swiss show. Non-Baka. Flip Flappers. I don't know if I plan on watching Flip Flappers or not. Euphonium. I know a lot of people think that show's beautiful. Um, did not watch Natsumi. I have actually seen some of this show. Believe it or not. I have seen season one. Apparently it gets better. Um... We're going to say it's on hold. This show is, uh, I don't know how to rate this show. Uh, it was trash, but it was a good kind of trash. So it's an average show for me personally. That's just me personally, man. That's just me personally. But, uh, let's see here. Yeah, if you have not watched that show, don't watch it. Trickster! I remember reviewing this show. I watched, like, the first... I dropped it at the good part. <laughs> or the best part of the show, I should say. Very dull show. Show dragged on tremendously well. Um, 
It's kind of bad. I'm going to do episode six, I think. Six or seven, somewhere around there. Um, I don't plan on watching any of these shows right here. Uh, I did watch Bloody Wars. I got to finish Bloody Wars. It's on hold. It's on hold. I made it, from what I saw, it was a very, uh, the main female character, that's Bay, but uh, it's a very uh, average show. I made it through like five eps, I think. Very average show, but I'll finish it. <laughs> it's, it's trash, but I'll finish it. <gasps> Who made that show? Creators Impact. That's actually a Chinese studio. Yeah, that's actually a Chinese studio, believe it or not. Creators Impact. Yep, they made Net You Trap. Uh, what else did they make? I have no idea what any of these other shows are, as you guys probably don't either. Uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know if I pl plan on watching this show or not. I've heard good things, though. Especially about the se the sequel, right? Or the prequel, the first one? I don't know if I plan on watching that show or not. Let's see here. Token Ranbu. I did watch a little bit of Token Ranbu. Um, I watched the what? I don't even know if I'll watch this again. The first two episodes is just meh. It's very, very, very meh through the first couple episodes. Nothing that really got my attention. Nothing that made me really engaged. So, so Cheating Craft. I did watch that. Cheating Craft is all right. The main, the character, the teacher was, I dig the teacher. And the orange haired girl. Mm -mm -mm. Look so good, make you want to smack your mama. It was all right. It's fine. Nothing too bad. I mean, it's only eight episodes, 12 minute episodes, so it's nothing too bad, man. It's fine. To Be Here, I did not watch To Be a Hero. Let me see, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. What else do we actually have on here? Um, What else do we have on here? What else do we have on here? I watched Soul Busters, but that was ass. I dropped that like a bad habit. I dropped that like a bad habit. It was very bad. Very bad. Long riders, long riders. Let me see here, man. Uh, hey, Hex, have you found any other poor rated animes for me to watch? JK, I don't know, man. There's some bad ones. I don't really, I have a very uh, kind ranking. And uh, sometimes it's just bad, bro. Sometimes it's just bad. For corn's sake. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my good Lord's corn, bro. Don't get me started. Why is my nose stuffed? It shouldn't be this way. Zero two best girl 2018. My senpai is best girl 2018. Don't you do that to me, given zero two is very good. That following stuff scares the shit out of me because I'm not used to it, dude. Javon, thanks for uh, following. I Actually, I'd, we had someone else follow, too, I'm pretty sure. Who followed before Javon? Shadow Blade, thank you for the follow if you're still in here, man. Much appreciated, for real. Um, yeah, I see Rode knows. What do you think? I need to watch Boarding School Juliet, but Char, Char, and Princess Char and Boarding School Ju Juliet is an absolute, yeah. She is up there, just from looks alone on my waifu list. She's up there. She is, she's, my, she's everything I want. She's my type. She's not just attractive. She's my type of attractive. Um, don't mind watching any of these. I don't. What movies came out during this time? Any that I watched? Absolutely not. Of course not, Rashad. Why, why, why would that be a thing? <laughs> why would that be a thing? I'm pretty sure Zabek, yeah, Zabek made, made the first uh, OVA Black Clover. So, hopping on to winter 2017. We'll end on winter uh, 2017 spring. So, um, <clears throat> welcome, Virus Dragon. Much appreciated, bro. So, Kono, Suba, did I rank this one? I did not. I'll, did I rank the prequel? I had to rank season one, right? Yeah, I gave it a great. Kono, Suba, season two is... Is uh, it's it's all a content to be honest with you. I mean, I just don't give it masterpiece because I think masterpiece. I don't know masterpiece. I don't know. Kono Super is good. 
Season 2 was really good, actually. Let me look through these episodes really quick again. So, if I'm looking at the episode list. Kind of see what, mm, Kona Super Season 2 was a masterpiece. <laughs> Kona Super Season 2 was good. I can't even rank this right. It's not working. It, it broke it. <clears throat> this anime is already on my list, it says, guys. <clears throat> yeah, but is it ranked right? Is it? Is it? Where's it at? Where's Kona Suba at? Kono Suba. I don't see Kono Suba on my on my list, guys. It's lying to me. It's lying to me, bro. <clears throat> there it is. Let me add this. It's a damn masterpiece. Submit, baby. Woo! Mwah! Fabuloso. Fabuloso. Now let me refresh this page. Hell yeah. Now let's get back to what we're doing. Uh, I don't plan on watching Made. Silverlink. The studio that brings you a lot of high quality anime, actually. If you guys are ham fans, watch watch what Silverlink makes, actually. So, <clears throat> welcome, uh, Carl Zay Farmer. Much appreciated, man. Thanks for the follow. So, Silverlink's made Strike the Blood, Rakuda, Kishino Calvary. They've made... I've not seen this on... Is this one really that good? 7.93 is pretty damn high score. Especially for my anime list. Tough crowd. Monster Moon King's Revenge as we're on right now. Death March to Parallel World. They made Machiavellism. Fate Khalid. Um, Tomato Gaku 135. Uh, Amato. Amato. Say. Herbre? What else have they made? They made some good stuff. I need to watch this. Just watch the opening for this show. Watch the opening for this show. Restaurant to Another World. Watch it. The opening is fabulous. So, make some more, uh, strike the blood. What else did they do? What else did they do? They just did a lot of really good stuff. Um, yeah, a lot, who cares? A lot of really good stuff, all right? That's all that matters. So, what made, this does, does not deserve a seven. This is bullshit. This is a bullshit rating. This is at least a B. It's a definitely a B to me. I really like this show. So basically what this show is about, seeing the synopsis possibly, is about a kid who was actually made fun of by this girl right here, our main female character, uh, Aki. Right, made fun of by her when they were little. And he turned into the super fit, super sharp looking guy. And all the girls love him. And now he's trying to get her to fall for him once again so he can exact his revenge. It's really good. Different take on rom-coms, really. So really good. I enjoyed it. Josh Grilly is a great English dub voice actor. If you want to watch English dub, go ahead. Don't be afraid to. Great show. Really fun. Really had fun. Really had fun with this one, guys. <clears throat> so, hopping on to... Uh, not going to watch that. Exorcist. Blue. Stray. Exorcist. I thought the first first uh, season was very good. That was B plus content. Season two, once again, the mu the music in the show and the opening is amazing. I thought it was. I thought this was a content. Really enjoy the show. This is one I would recommend watching honestly. So I need to read the manga of Matsuminikun's No Revenge myself. Honestly, millennia. <clears throat> What's going on in this chat? Kuno Super is pretty good. Yeah, Kuno Super is good. Um, yes. Char can get. Yes, Char, baby. Char. This guy knows. This guy knows. Death March is okay. It's a little stale. It didn't really jump into his main narr narrative. Um, so, that, wait, I ranked that, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, Kuzu no Honkai, the beautiful show. The dark side of romance that we never really get to see in anime whatsoever is here. This show was good. I don't know if it captured the A- grade for me, but it's very good, very well done, very refreshing, very unique, the way it really did this. I mean, lies, cheating, sleeping around because you don't got any self-respect for yourself. All that's right in there, man. Really good stuff. So, <clears throat> Little Witch Academia, I don't know. Hey, Icarus is on, guys. Uh, little, <laughs> let me see here. 
<clears throat> Don't plan on watching that. Fuka. <clears throat> Some really good music in this song. If you like music, this is a show to watch. Fuka's a darling of a girl. It had a way less tragic uh, uh, thing happen than the manga. Gosh, the manga makes you want to cry. But I thought it was very good. Didn't think it was A-plus material. No, but I thought it was a very good show. Very um, um, attachable characters. You can really start to like Fuka and the other characters such as uh, uh, Hinayashi, uh, Haruna, Yu, Sarah. Um, all of them. I mean, even the, even this kid. This kid's really cool. I really like that guy. And then I also like this guy quite a bit. He's really, really cool character. Just like him all, man. Love the way they interact with one another for sure, for sure, for sure. Um, I don't. I don't have an opinion on Blue Star or Two Star Exorcist. I haven't seen it, man. I have not seen it. So, Sirene, a show that I did watch. I watched Sirene. I thought it was what I saw was actually really enjoyable. Um, the prequel. Whoa! I never knew Sirene had a, a prequel, but I was told you could just watch you could just watch Sirene, and you'd be okay. So what is the what's the prequel? Of this? So in the aftermath of a Mag- wait, whoa! It has multiple prequels, but each one, but you don't have to watch the the past ones in order to know what they're talking about. Wait a minute! Isn't this girl in? Is she in the sequel too? What's her name? I need to know that girl's name. The curly haired one. What is her name? Toru? Whoa, these girls aren't all of these? Oh no, I'm on Sirene. I'm on Sirene. Shoot. <clears throat> no, that's a different character. That's a different character. Okay, so these are different characters. Okay, I was gonna say, I was gonna say, if these weren't different characters, <clears throat> I watched Sirene first too. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure they're separate shows, right? Am I, am I the only one that thinks that? <clears throat> I was told that, so I'm like 90% sure. This is a girl I thought was in multiple of them. Tanamachi. Is Tanamachi in the prequel too? These two may be con- oh, Okay, so these two are connected. So the very first season. <clears throat> and season two are connected because you have Haruka, you have Haruka, you have Nanasaki, you have, you have uh, Tamachi, same thing. Yeah, these two are connected. These are sequels. So with Sirene, <clears throat> the with Sirene, it literally is about four. Is uh, each girl got like three to four episodes, and there's three different girls that the show uh, had our main character end with. Three different stories. Um, and the other one seems, excuse me, these ones seem, the prequels to Sirene seem as if they're actually just simply, <clears throat> well, one story. Season one and two are just one narrative. But ranking this show, I thought it was very good. I thought it was B material. I thought it was very good. I would, I could, if you like romance, give it a try. If it's very nice the way it presents itself, and you'll find the best girl, um, <clears throat> Gintama. I love Gintama. I ranked season one already, but if you guys do want to know my Gintama rank, this is what I ranked a baby masterpiece. Gintama's good. It's a real deal. It's not your typical show though. Ninety percent of Gintama's comedy, but when it gets serious, like life or death situations, look out because it's top tier. It's tier one. It does not mess around at all. So. Um, oh, scared me again. Raider Ray. Raider Day. I don't know who that guy is, but he has got it. So, <laughs> um, let's see here. I've heard uh, good things about ACCA, but I don't plan to watch it. I don't plan on watching Chaos or Aki, Aki Bus Trip either. <clears throat> I've heard bad things about Handshakers. I mean, it has a 5.66 rating. So let's see, what's this? It has a C. It has a sequel, right? Ooh, that's a bad rating again. It has a very, let me see. I want to see one of the bad ratings for this again. Last time the stream got really funny. Whenever I looked at, a, I read a bad rating. Okay, this is a rating one. What's <clears throat> the ultimate sign of a bad anime? For some, it's a poorly written script. 
For others, it's a lack of effort on the audiovisual front. It could even be something trivial, like a personal gripe against certain cliches or tropes. Whatever the reasoning may be, we all have ways of coming to our own conclusion. As for me, the ultimate sign of a lousy anime is not what that particular work does by itself, but how it forces me into retroactively <laughs> re-examining other terrible works in the process. When the show in question is so bad that I have to uh, commend the efforts of bottom-tier shows, oh, God, <laughs> at the very least, tried to. <laughs> oh, man. Whenever he has to apply the efforts of t- bottom tier shows, that's when you know the show is bad. <gasps> oh man, he has a bi- wow! This man went in. This man went in. First two questions: Did you think Big Order or Glass Lip were the worst series you've ever seen? Did you think Berserk 2016 and Ajin had some some of the worst animators with CGI you've ever seen? Negative. Handshakers is here is here to show you the opposite. And believe me, it does well. Let's look at this together. <laughs> oh shoot, 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 man. So hopping on to the next thing. One room, Komodo's friends. Ah let me see here. <clears throat> let me see here. <clears throat> I don't plan on watching any of these shows. I don't plan on watching any of these shows. Oh my goodness. How long has the stream go- been going on? I don't even think I have a, a number for this. But uh, let's see here. Oh, good lord. Oh my good lord. Corn. So the last season we're going to do for the stream. 4.6 hours long. What's 4. Point- this stream is not 4.6 hours long. What are you talking about? What you talking about, Willis? What you talking? I just need to tell me how long we've been streaming. It doesn't. Why doesn't it tell me how long we've been streaming, guys? Why? I live in the uh, U.S., guys. I live in the United States of America. Yeah. Oh, it's bad. Apparently, man. I don't know why it doesn't tell me how long I've been streaming, but. It's all right, it's all right. So, hopping on to this last season, 2017, a great season of anime, to be honest with you. Attack on Titan, My Hero Academia 2, um, uh, Akashic, uh, uh, Akashic Records. We have Boruto that came out. We have Recreators, man. Um, oh, God, beautiful anime. This anime was long, long title. World End. What do you do at the end of the world? Are you busy? Will you save us? <laughs> so what's that? It says an interesting title. Wait, Machiavellianism came out. Oh, that must have been a special. I was looking at this season was really fucking good. Now that I look at it, this season was solid, bro. Wow, solid season, solid season. So you want to talk about best uh, seasons of the of all time? I mean, you got to look at spring twenty sixteen and spring twenty seventeen, man. 2018 is pretty damn good, but I don't know if it's 2016 uh, spring. That's crazy. So Shingeki no... Oh, I almost said Bahama. I'm sorry. So Attack on Titan completed a course. Um, I guess we'll rank each Attack on Titan. Let's just rank each one. So completed Attack on Titan. First season, I loved it. I loved it. Second season, can I tell you something? I loved it. Third season. Can I tell you something? Can I tell you something? Wait. Okay. I fucking loved it. Talking of Titans is one of my top five favorite shows of all time, guys. If you have not known that, very good. <clears throat> very good show. You should definitely go watch this. Um, what are you guys saying in the chat? Honor Girl with Machiavellianism was lit. Oh, yeah, for sure, for sure. For sure, for sure it was, man. For sure. Uh, my, actually, I did rank these. I already did rank these. So if you guys want to know my rankings for these, let me let me pull it up. All right, so I gave the first season a 9. Second season, 10. Third season. Did I rank third season? Oh, yeah, I did. A 10. Once again, one of my top six favorite shows. 
Really good stuff. If you have not watched My Hero Academia, definitely go watch this, please, for my sake and your sake. Do it. Rude, you got a man up. You got a man up. So, so Akashic Records. So, once again, English Dove, I would highly recommend watching this. Uh, English Dove voice actors is Josh Grelly. Super good voice actor, man. Super good. This guy gave it a three because he doesn't know what the hell he's talking about. But, um,. Cosmic Records is very funny, especially with the English dub. Um, Cosmic Records is a show that has trope, very trope characters. But the way they present them, presentation is everything. You can have the most ununique show of all time, but as long as you have unique characters, it's okay. You're good to go, man. So, um, completed. I thought it was very good. Definitely, I thought it was a B plus show. I like it that much. Maybe it's just because it's my genre, but... Oh. Fashion Records was good, man. Whenever I talk a lot, I yawn. They say whenever you need air. Uh, that's because you're talking a lot, so... <laughs> uh, side note. So, Borto, this is an interesting one to rank. Um, I'm not done with Borto by no means. I don't think Borto deserves a 6.88. But, um... Borto has been a show that's been very B. It's been a very... Very, 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 just a B to B by the show. I mean, Mobashiki was the biggest highlight. I mean, I think Shippuden could be very good. I think that'd be a very good show. Adult Borto, from what we got in the very first episode, I think Adult Borto could be very good. Shippuden, you know. But um, Borto to me, you know, Naruto had a really good tuning exams. Borto had a good tuning exams, not a very good tuning exams. And then whenever you look at um, other things that Bar- Naruto did well, I mean, you got to think about the Sasuke and uh, Naruto kind of just kind of, you know, the yin and yang aspect of it all. And then you look at Borto, which is trying to do that kind of with, with, um, <clears throat> uh, I can't remember his name, Jesus, Mitsuku. Uh, I don't know how I forgot Mitsuki. He is a character that's not like Sasuke, though. He's not even bad. Maybe he has an anti-hero persona to him, but you're doing very similar things, so obviously it's not going to carry very much weight if we've seen very identical things happen with Naruto and you transfer it to Borto. Will it still be good? Sure. But at the same time... You got to come with something new. You got to, and that, that's why I think Shippuden should be so good because Borto takes after Sasuke more than Naruto. So seeing like a Sasuke as character as a main character can be really interesting, you know? Like a, a, a Sasuke on the surface kind of character, but a, a Naruto deep down personality. So a cross between the two, I think, could be really good. <clears throat> What's going on, uh, Vinjiro? So, recreators. Made by Studio Troika. Studio Troika. Recreated as an anime original. Very good show. First off, music. Huh, animation. Huh. If you want to see a show to where maybe the main character doesn't make it to the end, and I'm not saying the main male, I'm not saying the main female, I'm just saying one of these characters doesn't make it to the, even the end of the show, whether it's not plot armor, and but very engaging, very uh, well done, written. This is a show to watch, man. Troika killed this one. It has a 722. It's a seven yeah, seven point six six. And whoever rated that rated this below an H should be embarrassed, honestly. They really should. Because this is what good writing is. Um <clears throat> yes. That is yes, it's a ten. Five BS two that's that's just it's so I don't know what this guy's looking for whenever he watches shows. Just, that's just embarrassing. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't get it. So looking at this show, this show is really good. It's it's a nine. It's a nine. It's it's very good. This is a minus content at least, just to say the least, guys. This is really really good show. Did it give the rating to it? All right, there we go. <clears throat> but if you guys do want to know a little synopsis of what the show is about, people get tra- uh, the characters get transported to the human world. People from the human world don't get transported to you know the fancy world. The fancy world comes to. The human world and all these characters are based off authors and mangas and video games so they can write them differently and if the writing is so good it makes it worldwide impact they actually get new powers and stuff really good so I did not watch this one <clears throat> <clears throat> so I'd say this is really sad so you don't gotta watch this I don't think I don't know what this is about what was this one about after uh, having descended upon this world the gods have created guilt yeah 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 what was sword 
I don't even know what this one was about. Wasn't it just about the girls? I'm pretty sure. It doesn't even give me a true description about what this is about. I'm not really even sure myself. What, what What's boring? What's boring? I'm so confused. I'm so confused. What is your name on Mal? My name on name on Mal is Hex Twenty Five. Two X's. Two X's. Can you tell us what your Mal username is? Hex Twenty Five. That show ALS. What show is boring? Recreators. <clears throat> Oh, you're talking about, okay, yeah, I know what you're saying. This show has beautiful music. It will mesmerize you the first episode. Very good show. I mean, <clears throat> um, I don't want to hop too far into this show at all because then it'll ruin the, the synopsis itself. Will, there's one guy that protects these girls, right? Because he gets hired to do it, but then he falls in love with one of them. And all of them in a way, but he falls in love with one, truly. So... Dude, my nose. I got, dude, give me like 30 seconds. I'm going around the corner. I got to blow my nose. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. <clears throat> All right. So yeah, just to make sure my name is Hex Twenty Five, dudes, 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 dudes. Um, I even put it in the chat for you. There we go. There we go. So <clears throat> this show is really good, though. Um, I want the synopsis is hard to give. One of the synopsis is the main concept. So, Arnold Girls Machiavellism, also made by a studio, Silver League. This got a sequel. An OVA sequel. I have no idea what this is about, though. So, Arnold Girls Machiavellism is a harem series that's... Yeah, it's technically harem, right? No, no, it's not harem. It's a, it's a school shonen series. Very fun, very different cast, different abilities. The main character's abilities are actually really cool. As you see, the main character looks like the biggest D-bag ever, <laughs> which he kind of is. He really is, but I mean, you know, <laughs> it, it happens, right? So, it's a fun show. It's unique in the way it presents itself. Uh, that's what I would say. Very unique in the way in which it, you know, presents itself. Um, it just has a different feel to it. Sometimes there's certain shows to where you can't say why it's good or why it's so much better than some certain shows that are the same cliche trope within this genre. But this show just does a great job of presenting itself. So all around, I really like this show, honestly. Um, <clears throat> I watched this. This show, I, I thought, had a lot of potential, especially since it's White Fox is handling it. Um, what, what did they... How good... The Social Steel was an 8. People really like the light novel. And I think if they were, were to make a season two, that's when the show would actually get good. This show had it built up things. You got us excited to really see the magic in the world it talked about. But then it, it kind of it felt really flat. It was a really C-plus show, man. It, I was very upset with what transpired. I mean, the main fight lasted like 30 seconds after it was built up for like eight episodes. This is embarrassing, man. So, now... Say Kano. Say Kano. What a show. This is how this is how you this is how it's done. This is how you write a, a rom com. Oh, man. This is how you write a rom com. This is how you write draw very, very attractive females. This is how it's done. <clears throat> this show can do everything. 7.64 is 
embarrassing. It shows how much some know. Honestly. <laughs> Honestly, man. Whoever gave it, like, I don't understand that three. I don't understand anything below an eight for this show. It doesn't make sense. The character interaction, the <clears throat> how relatable the main character. It, no, seriously, guys. If you guys have not watched this show, go watch it. You will relate to the main character instantly if you're an otaku. You understand being the shut-in guy. You understand wanting to make your own game if you could. Which is, you have to be really smart, and a lot of us just simply aren't that smart enough, right? <laughs> Including myself. And then, uh, since it's so just complex to make one. And then, loving anime. Just being a true otaku, but then all of a sudden you get that really trucker girl song too, and you freeze up. A lot of people can probably relate to this. This, like, if you're an otaku, you can relate to this in one way or another. The the, the main character is hilarious when the girls hit on him. It's just so hilarious because you got to go like Uta, who's just literally like a twelve out of ten, just out of this world good looking, and she hits on him. It's just really funny to see how he acts. I mean, you got a Sundere and Uri who's just funny. You have a cousin, a obviously. Cousin complex, not from our main character, but from another character. It's just really funny, really good, man. You have Megumi, who's just a sweetheart. It, the first season is just really good. It was a masterpiece, honestly. I love Seikano, dude. I really do. But I look at at least the last season is getting a movie for the sequel. And a seven point three. The fact that this is a seven point three just pisses me off. It really does. It it makes me so mad. Because people, some people are just so ignorant. Just so mm, dumb. <laughs> um, <clears throat> like, wow. The drama, the buildup that season one and season two did to, you know, the rising action all the way up until the climax for this season. It was phenomenal. Seven, it drops off in quality? No, it goes up. It goes up. Don't let people fool you. Don't listen to what people say. This is a good show. Top 10 show for me. It has to be. And if I don't fit into my top 10 somehow, then I don't know why I'm giving it this. Fucking good. Wait. Oh, this is just an OVA. I apologize. Well, this is awkward. There you go. Where's this? Where's the true sequel? Okay, this is better. This is better. 7.8 is better. But it should be an A. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. This is a this should at least be an eight, but it's a masterpiece. This show is good, man. Well, this is uh 2016 uh, or 2017 spring. This is 2017 spring. Re Zero is last stream. Um, I'll go through at the end of the stream. We'll go through <coughs> everything I've ranked so far. We'll go through that really quick, dude. I just got rid of my cold, and that's so congested, and now like <coughs> it's just drainage, I guess. Oh no, I didn't really have this issue yesterday. So, Seikon is so special. You even make you, the girls that you love, you may end up disliking too. It's very, very good. Because I think, let's see, season one is a harem comedy romance etchy school, but season two, is it listed as the same? Comedy etchy. I thought it may have had drama in there, since it is very dramatic. Uh, not over dramatic, but very good dramatic. Shingeki no ha baha baha mutt. There's only one thing I can say. Favaro! That's what it is, man. Favaro! <laughs> if you guys don't know that reference, I'm referring to this man. This man right here, known as Kaiser. Kaiser! Favaro! <laughs> Favaro! Oh, man. <laughs> so. <clears throat> Uh, I'll, I'll have to read the, uh, the synopsis of this one. So, thousands of years ago, the ancient dragon Bahamut uh, wreaked havoc uh, upon the land of Mistarsia, a world where both gods and demons live amongst mankind. Working together to prevent the world's destruction, the rival deities barely managed to steal Bahamut. Yes, the devil and King Lucifer and God worked together, agreeing to split the key between them so that the dragon would remain eternally imprisoned. With the world safe from the destruction of Bahamut, it is, bus it is b business as usual for bounty hunters like Favreau Leone, living a laid-back, self-serving lifestyle. 
the 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 immoral Favreau goes about his work while on the run, fellow bounty hunter Kaiser uh, Lidford, a righteous man who swears vengeance upon Favreau. However, Favreau's uh, carefree life is thrown into chaos when he meets Amira, a mysterious woman who holds half of the key to the world's fragile peace. So, <clears throat> Mir's not in season two for reasons. Um, so I'm going to be ranking that as well. This show is good, dude. I love Shingeki no Baha Mutt. I love Shingeki Baha Mutt. <laughs> season two, I love too. We have a new character. What's Nina? Nina's the new main female character in this, uh, compared to Amira in the first season. So I love Shingeki no Baha, my guys. The music's awesome. Da na 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 na. It's different. Uh, I, I guess it's kind of like Drifters, the opening is. It's really good, though. It's really good. I promise you that. It's very good. Um, um, I might. I might. So, dude. You guys don't even know. You guys don't even know how good this show is, man. <laughs> this show is so good, bro. I love it. So, Soccer Quest. I got halfway through this, I think. Mm. And I thought it was just average. It was, it, it, it was nothing special. I had a really, really good ED. Really good ED. Honestly. Ugh. Ugh. The ED, though. The ED, though. I mean, like, come on now, man. The ED is so good. I don't want to play the ED while I'm recording, but whenever I get done at the end of the video, I'll get off recording. I'll do my outro and everything. I'll say, I'll see you guys next time. Peace, right? But don't go anywhere. I'll play the ED of Sock Request, if you guys remind me. If you guys have not heard, I'll play it for you. So, <clears throat> I just got to be reminded. What was the... I wonder how good the adaptation... I thought this was an anime original, though. Oh, this came out before, this came out before the manga. Yeah, this came out before the manga. This was anime original at first, yeah. They, they came out with the manga after it. Was the manga ranked high? I didn't see that. 7.7? 7. 7.77? 7. I've not seen Grand Blue. Soccer Rata Reset. I think it had a lot of things going for it, but damn, was it fucking dull. Soccer Rata just felt flat, dude. I dropped it. I thought it was, uh, it's so bad. Boring. It didn't. It had good, interesting things about it, like the one of the one girl that actually did herself in, which for we don't know why, but there's a mystery behind it. But it's really good. It's a power. There's a there's a place in the world to where only people with powers can, or only people with powers live. But I believe once you leave the place, you forget about. Yeah, you if you leave the town for some odd reason, you forget about your powers and you forget about like. Your past. But if you come back into the town, you remember your stuff. I don't know. It's really interesting. So, um, let's see here. Oh, there's some, there's some lookers in this show. I tell you that. Uh, this one. Satan is where it's at, though. Wrath. Seven deadly sins. Or technically, I think it's just called seven deadly sins. Not the, yeah, seven mortal sins. Excuse me. So, here's Lucifer. Here's Leviathan, Astaroth. So, really cool characters here. Um, this show was all right. It was not special, honestly. The writing was mad. T and K did this. So, if you guys don't know who T and K is, we'll just really see kind of work. If you guys don't know who T and K is, actually, we're gonna show you who T K T and K actually is here really quick. So, T and K. Artland actually shut down, too. So, they did School Days, High School DxD, High School DxD New, High School DxD Born. They did some OVAs, right, for High School DxD. And as you see, Seven Mortal Sins right there. I don't know what... Why is the Light Novel listed here? Oh, it's an OVA. Oh, that must be... Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's one from 2017 or 16, right? Ooh, 2015. Um, they have more OVAs? There's no way. Kunao was in an OV. What is Kunao doing? I haven't seen. If these are all OVAs, I've not seen a lot of them. Kunao's the cover of this one. I've not. Is this even an OVA? <clears throat> Guys, is it like is this? Kunao has an OVA for 2015. I have not heard nor seen anything about this. Am I? I mean, am I like chat? Like help me out here. I'm. 
staring at you, waiting for your answers, your guidance. Guide me, chat. Guide me. Like, I don't. Yeah, I just say I haven't seen that one. S Three minutes. Oh, okay, I've seen this. I don't know. I've seen that. Yeah, yeah, yeah I've seen that. Um, this one would have been the Graffia one. Whenever her and East Aaron the baths together. I know that. So, yeah, they also do Iki, Iki Tosin. I don't know if they're still doing Iki Tosin, though. Seven Mortal Sins out of OVA. Uh, 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 uh. Now, Artland, though, the other studio, they did some work for Hatred Jinsen and Grimgar. They did, they did the background art. Oh, they did uh, Ichiban, really. They did Demon King to Mayo. I did not know that. Mushy, mushy, mushy. Gunslingers. Oh, they're doing that show as well. What's that show rated? 6.59. I have not seen this either. 7 Fs. Unaired episodes 13 to 19. What? Since when? You know, I'm not the... Let me hold on to that. I don't... I want to see what that's about. Married... Seven episodes. It said episodes 13 and 19. How long? Two minutes? I don't even know what that's about. So, hopping on to what? Where were they? Where were you? I uh, did not watch the show. Don't plan on it. I've heard good things about this show. I may have to watch it, but it's like a reverse ham or something. I, I don't know if I will or not. No, uh, again, no Guardian. What is this one about? Uh, I didn't plan on watching that one, actually. I did not plan on watching that one either. Pew, I've heard things about this one, but I don't know if, how good is it. That one's like a hentai. Frame, arms, girls. Do I put on watching any of these? Do I? I don't think I do. Let me see here. Moving on to movies. Moving on to movies. Oh, there's my time. Um, ONA, ONA, ONA. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Movie should be all the way down here. Fairy Dragon Cry. I have that Blu ray just sitting on my uh, table over there. My nightstand. No. Okay, so we need to go back to this really quick. Okay, so we're done looking at shows. We're going to start off with Summer 2017 next time. But we need to look at my list. You guys send me friend invites? Oh, I got friend requests, guys. Well, guys, accept you guys on screen. You should, be, you should feel great. <laughs> so, okay. <clears throat> I'm looking at what chat's saying here really quick. Grimm's Notes. Oh, yeah, I was going to check Grimm's Notes out. All right, so here's my list. We have Gintama. Did I, where's, my, where, where's my score for... Uh, I am still watching Gintama, but still really good. Okay. So far, I really did enjoy the first episode. I thought it was nine. So, why can I not edit the score? Let's put completed for the sake of the video. Watching. I can't rate. I can't rate this one. There we go. Okay. <laughs> So, here's just some of my rankings, guys. Look at them. Erased, you know, 9. Micro Academia. If I could put these in order, that'd be awesome. Uh, status. No, no, no. Um, season status producer. Can I do it by ranking? Score. There we go. So, what? Okay, so now we're going from worst to best. <laughs> So here's the here's the ones I, I'm telling you guys you shouldn't watch. <laughs> Is this a why did this rank not? Oh, it didn't update. I just say some of these ranks didn't take. What the hell? Why is this not taking my ranking, dude? There we go. Now let's refresh this really quick. So these are the ones you basically shouldn't watch. I'm telling you. Anything that's not like a five, I guess you should probably should just skip. <laughs> Honestly, 
There's so many. I'm gonna have to go back in time to like 2014, 15 too as well. Ah, uh, here we go. So then we move on to everything below cheating craft. These are the shows that you may find interested. Well, honestly, you gotta check out how this is sturdy if you're just looking for the, these shows. You should just check out if you're just looking for something to entertain you, per se. Not necessarily something so amazing like Natsu no Tazai. That's that one you should probably watch. Would I give him a Natsu no Tazai a B? Hmm. I really like the Natsu no Tazai, though. I mean, there's some pretty cool fights. I mean, I look at the Natsu no Tazai and Meliodas. I love that name, though, Meliodas. It's awesome. I mean, the fight at the end of the series. The fight against... Um, oh, the fight in the middle of the series where they're doing that, like, fighting tournament. And then all of a sudden, people from the kingdom come. And we get to see, like, the first time Meliodas' is demon side. Uh, there's some good stuff there. Deanne fights are pretty good. There's some pretty good stuff there, actually. Yeah. I, I think it deserves an A minus grade, personally, for me. I think it does, for sure, for sure. Um, let's see here. Heavy object. Heavy object. Very fun show. Go watch that one for sure. It's fun. You may want to pick up the light now after watching this one, actually, too, as well. Um, commentary. If at your own risk. This is fun. I definitely recommend picking up Gate if you guys have not. Definitely pick up Gate. For sure, for sure. But Heavy Object, too. If you like Gate, you're going to like Heavy Object and vice versa. And I'll tell you what. Heavy Object may have the best-looking female character in anime. I'm not even kidding. She is a bomb. She is a bombshell. She is a special kind of looking female character, man. I'll tell you what. Where's her OVAs? Did it get OVAs? I need to know. <laughs> this is a beach episode? This is a beach episode. So, other than that, though, let's see here. Yakushin, Kuzno Honkai. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. So... Let's see, I told you guys. Let me see here. All right, here we go. So we're not going to play this yet. So I'm actually going to end the video here. So if you guys don't lose the stream, guys, man, we're going to tune out here really quick. So um, I do enjoy that you guys came and watched the stream. Hope you guys did enjoy the rankings. Uh, people who didn't want watch the stream, you'll see this on YouTube, of course. So, thank you. Be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, X25. You guys have been hexed. Peace.